these hypotheses for the extinction of the dinosaurs are rather ridiculous when you think about them. However, there were two very serious events that were occurring at the end of the Cretaceous period 65 million years ago. First of all, as the continents approached their modern positions, there were a number of changes. The Rockies, Alps, and Andes mountain ranges were all in the process of formation. Perhaps most significantly, India had broken away from the southern continents of Gondwana, where it had been attached for the longest time, and was moving towards Asia. This rapid movement, at least rapid in geologic terms, resulted in a great deal of volcanic activity. The lava flows which resulted are known as the Deccan Traps. They perhaps released 21 billion tons of hydrogen sulfate and 300 billion tons of hydrochloric acid. This certainly would have affected the world. An estimated 33 trillion tons of carbon dioxide might have been released, which would have affected global temperature, perhaps raising it by 5 degrees Celsius. So the lava flows and continual eruptions over uh, perhaps 500,000 years in India represents one of the most significant periods of volcanic activity in the Phanerozoic Eon. And this was poisoning the planet and causing global warming to an extent that it threatened terrestrial life. All these volcanic eruptions might have been poisoning the planet for half a million years. It also seems that there was a much more sudden event which helped to cause the extinctions at the end of the Cretaceous. From all over the world, at the boundary between the Cretaceous and the Tertiary, there are extremely high concentrations of an element known as iridium, which is often concentrated around meteorite impact sites. There are also shocked quartz grains and small blobs of silica-rich glass known as microtechites consistent with an asteroid impact. There is evidence of tsunamis which would have followed had this asteroid affected water. And so it seems that perhaps something might have struck the Earth. In the Yucatan Peninsula, where Mexico and Guatemala meet, there is a crater about a hundred kilometers in diameter and surprisingly deep that dates from 65 million years ago. This Chicxulub crater on the Yucatan Peninsula seems to be the impact site for such an extraterrestrial object, whether it be a comet or an asteroid. If a 10-kilometer asteroid impacted the Earth, striking at perhaps 90,000 kilometers, it would have hit with a force perhaps around 100 million megatons. The effects of this would have been horrific. It would have affected the temperatures of the impact site, given the depth of this meteorite impact ejecting so much of molten rock. There would have been an immediate spike in global temperature, but so much material might have been kicked up that a freezing period might have followed after that in which sunlight was blocked. There would have been gases and intense acid rain. And so it seems that perhaps two horrific events did in the dinosaurs and so much of the rest of Cretaceous life. The volcanic activity of the Deccan Traps in India over half a million years and then the sudden impact of a meteorite in the Yucatan Peninsula 65 million years ago.